Hi guys, I have another paracord bracelet tutorial today and this one is called the Cloven Dagger. It's a design by D-Man McHugh and it's a series of clove hitches tied all the way down the bracelet and it comes out with this nice cross pattern. So watch through and by the time you're finished you will be a master of the clove hitch. This one is going to require two pieces of paracord. One piece is 140 centimeters or around about 55 inches, and the other piece is 330 centimeters, which is around about 130 inches, and that's going to make a bracelet around about 20 centimeters long or around about 8 inches. And we are going to start off by finding the center of each of these pieces of paracord. And with the shorter piece, what I'm going to do is just form a loop by crossing one strand over the other. Just going to pinch that off there in the center, and I'm going to feed the other piece through that loop. And I'm going to tie a lark's head. So then I'll feed these two strands through the lower loop. And then proceed to tighten it up. And adjust this top loop here until it's around about one centimeter or half an inch. Once we've formed our loop we can start our knot tying and we're going to start off by just crossing these outer strands left over right and then we're going to be tying clove hitches with these inner strands. So I'm going to start with this right hand one and take it around and curl it up through that right loop. then cross it over and take it and then come around and up through that center and now I just want to take the end and tuck it down parallel to this strand here, underneath this bar that works across here. Let's take the end and just run it through parallel, and then pull that all the way through. And you should have one clove hitch formed here with the long strand on the inside of the bracelet. And next we want to tie a clove hitch over the left hand side. And again we want this long strand to end up here in the middle. So we have to start by taking it to the outside, around the back and through that left loop. crossing it over then we're going to take it around and up through the center and then we'll take our end and run it parallel to our starting strand underneath this crossbar. So just through there and then pull, pull that all the way through. So we should have another clove hitch on that side with the long strand on the center of the bracelet. And next we can tighten this whole thing up. I like to just pull these outside strands in first 
then I will take the slack out of these clove hitches just by pulling on that crossbar and then that long section. Pull up the crossbar, pull the long section. Again I can tighten up these outside strands and then a final tighten of the clove hitches by pulling the crossbar up and then pull that long tail. And that's our first series of clove hitches done. So we can now tie our second set of clove hitches and I'm going to start off by crossing the outer strands again left over right and I'm going to tie these clove hitches in the opposite direction this time so that this crossbar instead of running this way and this way will run in opposite directions so that way and that way so to do that I'll start off by taking this strand through the center first so if you remember on this last set I took it through the outside first and then through the center this one I'm going to take through the center first and then around and through that outside loop and again I'm going to hold the end here and run that end parallel to this strand and underneath that crossbar so just through there and then pull it through and you'll see that this crossbar here on the clove hitch runs in the opposite direction to this one which runs that way and our strand here is towards the outside. So now we can do our clove hitch here on the left and again I'm going to start by running this through the center first up through here and cross it to the left then around and up through the outside loop and again hold the end we're going to run that end parallel to this strand here and underneath that crossbar Pull that all the way through. So again we've tied two clove hitches and the bars you see are running like that and that and we can tighten this up, pull the outside strands then pull on these bars that run diagonally and then the long strand. Pull on the bar then pull on that long strand and then do a final tighten and then we can tie our next set of clove hitches and again we are going to alternate but first we will start by crossing our outside strands left over right and the previous one we went through the center so this one we are going to curl around and go through the outside first so around the outside loop and then cross it over I'm going to take it around and through the center Again, 
hold on to that end and run it down parallel to this strand and underneath that crossbar. So we have our clove hitch here on the right and now we just need to form our clove hitch on the left and again we will start by coming to the outside first so over to the outside and then cross over to the center then around and through the center hold on to your end piece take that parallel to this strand here and underneath the crossbar so just through there and then pull it all the way through and proceed to tighten them up pull the outside strands and then pull that crossbar and then the free end again with the outside strands and then do a final tighten So I'm going to do one more set of clove hitches and again I'll start by crossing these outside strands left over right and starting here on the right strand our previous set of clove hitches started by taking it around the outside loop so I'm going to take this around and through the center and cross it to the outside and I'm going to take it around and up through that right loop take the end run it parallel to our initial strand and underneath that crossbar just through there and pull that all the way through now our clove hitch over here on the left will run around and through the center first cross it to the outside going to take it around and up through that left loop locate the end and run it in parallel to this strand and underneath that crossbar there and then pull it all the way through Again, we can tighten this up so once we've tightened that up we can just repeat the clove hitches all the way down the bracelet alternating between starting on the outside and starting our clove hitches by running the strand through the center and repeat until we get the bracelet to the desired length so if you've made it down here to the end of the bracelet you should now be a master of the clove hitch and we can also just finish this bracelet off by cutting off these excess pieces and we'll do that by just taking a pair of scissors and cutting them off close to the end use a lighter to singe that end off and then just press it flat 
and we can repeat that with this piece here and then we'll use these two strands down the bottom to tie a button. For those of you who like the diamond knot which is a popular button for the paracord bracelets I'll leave a link either in the description or on the screen somewhere. I'm going to tie a simple toggle button and to do that I'm going to start with my right hand strand and form a loop by coming in underneath the two center strands then I'll take my left strand and form a loop by coming in above both of those strands I'm going to take my right strand up through the right loop and I'm going to take my left strand down through the left loop and then to tighten this button up I'm just going to pull those strands directly outwards and we just need to cut and singe these ends off here and the bracelet should be finished. So I've gone ahead and cleaned up the button and here's the finished piece front side and that's what the back side looks like please share this video because that allows me to keep providing you guys with free content if you like this kind of thing hit the subscribe button because we're always tying functional and decorative knots here thanks for watching thanks for sharing i like you all and i'll see you on the next video